compound microscope. Uh, again, there are two lenses, yeah, two lenses. But then uh, for this one, okay, uh, again, they will ask you uh, which one has higher power, okay, which one has higher power. Okay, the objective lens, when compared to eyepiece, okay, the objective lens has higher power. Just now, astronomical telescope is, uh, the eyepiece has higher power, the objective lens lower power. But for compound microscope, the objective lens has higher power, the eyepiece has lower power. So it's the opposite, eh? it's the opposite. Uh, again, okay, so the object, the object is here, okay, and then uh, the image, the image of the objective lens is here, and then the, this image uh, will be used as the object of the second lens, uh, the eyepiece. And for microscope, we try to get we try to get the the bigger image as possible. So therefore, therefore, we place the object in between f and two f. Okay, f and two f. So if if you place the object between f and two f, you will get a magnified image, a magnified image. And again, it's real, and it must be a real image uh, because uh, if it's not real, then the second lens cannot see this image. Uh, so it must be real here because the, this image must be the object of the second lens. Uh, so it must be real. So try to get a real and magnified image. Then uh, this object must be placed between f and 2f. Okay. So the object must be placed in between f and 2f of the objective lens. Uh, this is to produce a real and magnified image. Uh, okay. And uh, the power of the eyepiece is lower than the power of the objective lens. So this is the opposite of the uh, telescope, right? Telescope, this has lower power, but uh, microscope, this has higher power. So if you put this between f and 2f, uh, then the image that you get here is real inverted magnifier. Okay. And then it's placed between the principal focus and the optical centers of the eyepiece. So this is placed in between f and 2f, but for the eyepiece, uh, okay, this object is placed between O and F, uh, okay, we have optical center O here, OE. Yeah. So this one is placed between O and, and F uh, so that you can so that you can get magnify and virtual image. Because the final image that we want is a virtual image. Uh, a magnify and virtual image here. And you must know how to draw the ray diagram. Make sure that uh, you practice to draw the ray diagram because in exam they may ask you to draw the ray diagram. Uh. So if you place your object here, then you will get the final image uh, that you get is virtual inverted and magnified. So you will get a virtual inverted magnified image here. So and this is normally is used to observe a very small things like uh, bacteria. Okay, so whether the bacteria is upright or inverted, it doesn't matter, right? So it's okay. So the image is virtual inverted magnified. That's okay. Okay, the distance between the two lenses. Uh, just now for telescope, eh, the distance between the two lenses is FO plus FE, right? But for uh, compound microscope, okay, uh, the distance between the two lenses is bigger than FO plus FE, okay? Here to here FO, here to here FE, this is FO, eh? and this is FE, okay? So the distance between the two lenses is bigger than FO plus FE. Okay, another thing that you need to know is the magnification. Magnifications, power. Uh, the magnification is uh, m equals to mo times me. Mo is the magnifications of the objective lens, okay, and uh, me is the magnifications of the uh, eyepiece, okay. So you can use this formula to find the magnification power of the uh, telescope.